Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So, uh, I did a video about cleaning up my uh, makeup area, my vanity, you know, after a week, you know, at the end of the week or beginning of the week or whatever, and kind of showed you just how I go through cleaning it up. And it was really, really well received, and I wanted to, ooh, I'm ashy. Well, we will be ashy. I wanted to do another one, um, but not so much focus on how I clean it, because you've seen that, but kind of just literally chat about whatever's on my vanity. So kind of like you get an inside scoop as to what I've actually been using this week. This is probably about a week and a half worth of mess. i uh, actually been using just certain things, and I want to just chat. I love these type of videos where we just chat about products. Some things are new, some things are old. Just what's on my vanity. I'm not going to go through every single, single item. What's on my vanity, but... Just kind of just want to pick up things and talk about them for whatever reason so let's do that as we clean it up and put things away so in the order of things that i'm going to do today i'm actually going to start with this hair stuff get the hair stuff out of the way i keep my hair stuff on a little cart over here and i just roll it i roll it in and out as needed um so let me just grab the hair stuff we have a brush we have it's kind of boring Put my bonnet to the side. Put my bonnet to the side. Actually, I had two bonnets out because I couldn't find one of the bonnets. I always have multiple bonnets. Baby's like, why you got a brown bonnet? You usually wear a black bonnet. I'm like, listen, couldn't find my other bonnet. <laughs> so, throw that in. I don't have much hair stuff out. My edge brush, threw that out. Okay. This stuff, we all know about got to be. We all know about got to be. And, like, honestly... I was using got to be spray. I don't wear wigs uh, yet. I was using this to just set my edges. But I use it for my ponytail. Like it, it like this, I, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but really been enjoying this. It's just that I have to wash my hair more frequently when I use it, but I've been doing that for my ponytail. I would just use it to spray a little bit on my edges previously, but now I'm like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's, we got the hair stuff. We got the hair stuff out of the way. I got, I'm going to move that to the side. I got jewelry here. We, we got the situation. Um, okay, so I don't even know where to begin. I actually do know where to begin. My brushes. So I like to get all the brushes off the table. Um, throw away any wipes I'm using and get the brushes separated first. I, I don't know why. There's no real reason. So I'm going to take all the brushes. If there's any worth talking about, I will let you know. Um, eye brushes, face brushes, all my brushes. Let's pull those up. I need to, I'm not at a state where I need to wash all of them, like a full deep cleanse of them, but I am getting close to uh, needing to spot clean them. Um, and so what I think I'm going to do this week, which I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it this week, is uh, get my, you know, my, my um, like, Cinema Secrets. I have Dante's as well. Brush cleaner and kind of get a towel and, and freshen these up. I don't need a full deep clean yet. Um, freshen these up, though. These are the brushes I've been going through this week, week and a half-ish. So I'm going to just sit them there. And I will uh, organize them in the brush holder in a little bit because it's kind of boring. Also, I think I want to spot clean them later. So I'll get a towel and do that. Okay. All right. I haven't really. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I recently... Well, not recently, but I, I guess recently, have been um, trying to really, really, like, use items that, like, how can I, how can I, how can I do this? How can I explain this? I've been really focusing on the look that I'm trying to get over the products I want to use. So like I'll get into these phases where it's like, you know, obsessed with a look, obsessed with a style, except obsessed with rose gold, obsessed with whatever. And cool. And that's great. And I pick out specific products that I want to use because of that. Um, you know, I want to use this highlight as rose gold. I'm just using rose gold as an example, but like whatever, whatever, like, 
you know, I get stuck in. I get stuck in like these these obsessions of a look, obsessions of a style, and that's what I'll be using. Like with um, like I'm still obsessed with like water uh, cake activated water activated cake liners, and so like putting those in every look. Right now I'm in a phase of of a specific type of um, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but right now it's not so much okay. Girl, get your words together. So, like I said, I'll get obsessed with a look and be like trying to find all the products that'll help me do that look or whatever, and obsessed with that one specific thing or like utilizing the liners. Um, and that's what I'll that's what I'll just do. Right now, I am in this phase of like I'm in the. How can I describe? I don't want to describe it as natural because I'm I'm not natural, but 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 naturally glamorous. <laughs> And that's how I can describe it. And it's not about where I'm getting. My point I'm trying to make is I'm, it's not about specific products. Like, like I don't have any. I do have one product I'm obsessed with right now. But other than that, I don't have any, like, specific products I want to use. Like, any specific colors I'm trying to get into. None of that. I'm just trying to execute this naturally glamorous look that I cannot describe. But I just, I execute it in various ways. And I really enjoy when I get in these phases of of trying to just look a certain way because then I'm just using I'm, I that's where I get the most out of my collection because I'm not a, I'm not like trying to find one specific type of product. I'm just trying to have the right combination of products to execute this sort of look. And when I say like glamorous like it's still full coverage, still full glam, but it's like it's it's almost like trying to make myself look like I need to be in a magazine without the photoshop. But like Photoshop in real life. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I'm not drunk. I promise. This is coffee. Uh, but I've been like utilizing my collection in really just old stuff, new stuff to try to execute that look as I put on each product. Oh my gosh. I can't really explain it. But anyway, um, I like I said, I really enjoy this type of phase because I get the most out of my collection. I really do. So I'm trying everything. Um, so that was a very, very terrible, terrible description um, of the phase I'm in. It's just not product specific. It's not a product specific phase. It's a look specific phase, if that makes any sense. All right, let's put these lashes away. So what I did, I have a lot of lashes, a lot of lashes, and they take up space they take up space in my um, acrylic drawer thing. And, like, you know, lash boxes are not the most stealth type of box. They're bulky. Um, and they they do take up space. And I have a lot of new ones. So what I did was I took... Um, I decluttered a lot of lashes. Threw out a lot of old ones. But I took... Um, putting this down. I took... All the ones that like are open and like I've used a few times but not ready to get thrown away. I bought these little books from Am I bought these little books from Amazon and put them in there, put them in here, and kind of labeled them with a little washable marker. And this has this is what? Uh, this holds 16. This is 15 pairs of lashes now in this book. And this book fits in my drawer. I bought three of these from Amazon. I only have one filled, but like these boxes, I've, I was able to get rid of, you know, all that bulky packaging, as well as decluttering, you know, a bunch. And now I have, um, like, all of my lashes. I still have, like, all my Dollar Tree lashes in their own packaging because they fit well in the drawer. And then a lot of new lashes that are unopened are, I put them over in one of my Alex drawers because I just don't need all of my lash options all the time. I can just, if I'm bored with any of the ones I have over here, any of the ones that I already have open, then I'll go over and grab a new pair. They're not like backups or anything, but it's just, it's so much easier. And I have two empty drawers now in my acrylic organizer now. So that's something that has happened. And I'm, I'm quite happy that it happened. I'm really quite happy about it. All right. Put the micellar water away. Put the contact solution away. Check, check, check. All right. Put the eyelash curler away. Okay, so you guys want to know... Let's talk about it. Let's talk about my obsession. It's one specific eyeshadow, and everyone <clears throat> has been complimenting me on it, and I am obsessed. But I did a live, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I did a live last week 
regarding just everything. I did Ulta haul and we were having um, just makeup chat and we were talking about the extreme, extreme price of multi-chrome eyeshadows. And it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And I just, I don't, and I could be very ignorant to this. I could be very ignorant to the industry. I really could when I say these things. I'm putting away while I'm talking to you. I'm putting away some of the Shop My Stash items. I haven't changed my Shop My Stash since the last video. So, yeah, anyway. Um, it is like, I just can't, they're just ridiculously expensive. And most multi-chromes are made by indie brands. I don't know any mainstream brands that have, tr uh, other than maybe Danessa Myricks. Um, so like, yeah, I just, I just, uh, this is going to be a rant. This video is all over the place, but just get a snack. I don't understand why they charge so much for them. I just don't. I get that the pigments are more expensive. But for example, let's talk about Danessa Myricks. Danessa Myricks has uh, these chrome flakes. And a lot of indie brands make beautiful multi-chromatic flakes. So let's talk about these. One of these is $25. That's, that's pretty high for a little jar. Um, and you get 3.8 grams of, of uh, this multi-chromatic flake. Indie brands are selling these for... 40 plus dollars okay let me finish let me finish um pressed eyeshadows pressed eyeshadows pressed multi-chrome eyeshadows are expensive there is a brand uh uh what is it called blend bunny cosmetics really great eyeshadows she's releasing a palette and the palette's like 50 dollars 50 or 60 dollars um and then she's releasing a small quad of multi-chromes four multi-chromes are beautiful that's 70 dollars I, and she explained, you know, you know, making apologies, which you don't have to make apologies, but making apologies like, hey, um, these are ridiculously expensive to make, to, to source the pigments are really expensive. Um, I just, I don't, I would like to know more. I would like to know more about these multi-chromatic pigments and the, the markup for them. I just would like to know more. I get that they're unique, but I really would like to know more in terms of the expense and in terms of if they are, like, like with these prices... The brand is just barely breaking even or just a smidge of profit like it's the same amount of profit as any other thing based on how they price them or is this excuse of them being this thing like it's just common that they're just expected to be expensive and it's giving brands the excuse to just make them expensive because people are going to believe that they're just expensive and I just need to know because I just really do um so that's that might be some research I need to do for a different day um but anyway, with the topic of multi-chromes, there's one that I am obsessed with, and this is by Clarity Cosmetics. I did get my huge order of Clarity eyeshadows. I can show you guys those because they're on my vanity, but this one's called You Grow Girl, and it's a multi-chrome pressed pigment. Let me just tell you some price reference. Everything, all of the shadows, the pressed pigments were 50% off during this sale. So her normal pressed pigments, all the different ones, beautiful, matte, shimmer, metallic. There were some dual chromes thrown in there. Seven, uh, seven dollars regularly. They were three, no, they were three seventy five. So a little bit under, under um, fifty percent. But they were three seventy five, and I got all the ones I didn't have. And then this one was multi chrome. So multi chromes are a different section. This at fifty percent off. Excuse me, was still fifteen dollars. I paid $15 for this one pan of eyeshadow. Don't regret it. But again, like, I'm trying to understand. $3.75 for all the other ones, but you can only mark this one down to $15. Like, that just seems like it's... I just don't. I just... I don't. Uh, there was a brand, uh, Clionada. I don't want to butch... I apologize for butchering that name. Um, they have a bundle of these multi-chromes, like 20 eyeshadows. And it was like $300, almost $350 for 20 eyeshadows. Like, I just don't... I need to know more. That was like my mini rant. Like, I'm not like saying they're doing it wrong. I just saying I don't understand. I just don't understand. But anyway, <laughs> this one is called You Grow Girl. And it is a rainbow multi-chromatic. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really, really smooth. The pigment is really, really soft. I, this is what it looks like. I don't even know if you're going to catch it all. But it's lovely. I wore it on my eyes yesterday and oh my god you're talking about compliments everybody's whoa it's so trippy well it's beautiful and and 
I, I, I am really, not obsessed, I'm obsessed with this shadow, but really, really further interested. This is probably the best multi-chrome I've owned, and I'm really interested in getting more. But it's like, they're very, very expensive, and like, I just don't feel like, also, the different multi-chrome shifts with all these brands, I see the same colors. Like, I see the same shifts, like this type of shade, then you got like the blue-purple one, then you got like the fiery red-orange one. I don't see... Like, throughout the brands, across these indie brands, I see the same color shifts, the same multi-chromes. I don't see super unique multi-chromes. I see a lot of unique duo-chromes, but I don't see a lot of unique multi-chromes. It seems like the same brands are buying the same pigments. So it's just like, it's not like super unique in terms of all these other eyeshadows. I just don't think there's just a wide range of multi-chromatic pigments like it is with other things. And so like, I'm seeing the same ones and like, how do you know which one to buy? <laughs> how do you know which way to, where to go with this? So... I do trust Clarity. I do trust, like, Give Me Glow, those kind of brands. And, like, I want to try others, but, like, they're really expensive. And with indie brands, and I talked about this in my live, with indie brands, you're taking a risk from ordering from a lot of them. Shipping takes forever. They are not as good with customer service, with return policies. I'm generalizing a little bit, but in my experience of the indie brands I've used, I've had problems here and there with, with all of them. So it's just, like... I don't know. I don't know. I've gone all over. But this shade, I'm really into. I really love it. Um, all of my Clarity shadows and Give Me Glow shadows are in these big pan, big um, eyeshadow palettes. Uh, Bay helped me. We kind of just sorted them all. This one is like the last palette, so it's not full. But they're not. They're kind of just sorted by color, family-ish. So we have those. All right. We have, and I just have these sitting on my vanity right now because these are all the shadows I've just been using. Pinks and purples. Look at that. How pretty is that? So we have those, and these are all giant pans. And that's why I bought, I did the order, because Clarity is going down to small 26 millimeter pans. Um, and 26 millimeter pans, and um, I wanted the big pans. And so they discounted all of them. Greens and blues, all finishes. I have, this video is all over the place, and I'm kind of here for it. Uh, warmer ones. I think I'm going to play around... Uh, and then I just have the, the one multi -chrome. So, I'm going to pop this back in the palette. <laughs> really excited. I was looking for, like, multi-chromatic pigments, like TKB, and places like that where I could just press my own and make my own. I need to sort, I need to find out, if you all know, where we're buying these multi-chromatic pigments, you know, these brands, wholesale. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm going to have to make my own. Let me know. Let me know. Okay, Okay, I had to calm down from that rant. Um, <laughs> it was all over the place, wasn't it? Mm. Okay. All right. So, put it, anyway, these big palettes are just going to be sitting up on my vanity right now as I um, uh, be using them. All the shadows, pretty much, I'd ever need to use right now. Um, I'm putting together looks. So they're going to stay here. I'm trying to set them up in my little palette organizer real quick. So we can move on. Alrighty. Cool. 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 Nice. Alright. What else we got on this table? So with that order, with that clarity order, with all the big shadows, they have highlighters and bronzers out. Um, and I picked up a few because they were on sale as well, 50% off. I got them for $7, I believe. Um, so I'll just show them to you really quickly. There is some discrepancy with the packaging. Some of the highlighters came in this packaging, which I think is pretty, um, but a little bit cheaper. And some came in this packaging, which... I like better the smooth black packaging although on both of the packaging some of the pans were not glued in nothing broke but some of them were not glued in. I had to glue them back in like that's the type of stuff that makes me question why you charging so much for your product that's just 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 and um yeah some were glued in I thought maybe because like they do sell singles and they sell like they sell their compact separate from their singles but like I specifically ordered them in the compacts and like, okay, if it was like a DIY build it yourself and you give me the compact separate and the shadow and the sleeves, the, the, the highlighter and the sleeve separate, I get it. Cool. And they were like magnetic. That makes sense. But they're not magnetic. They were just not, the glue, I could see resident, it just, they just weren't glued in. Okay? So, 
I'm just saying. Quality, you're taking a gamble with these these brands. I gotta tell it like it is. Like I, I do love the quality of their products, but like the the qual they're just it's inconsistent. You never know what you're gonna get with your package. <laughs> oh, it, okay. Anyway, let me show you the let me show you the one bronzer I got, which I really like this tone. This is called La Rouge. It's a face and body bronzer. Okay, this is in that gold. It's packed clear pack. Bleah. Clear plastic packaging with a gold trim here. Alright. It's a really pretty tone of bronzer. It could be a blush too, to be honest with you. For me. Um really pigmented, really pretty. That's that's really nice. I'm glad I picked that. It's really reddish. I just that could be a beautiful blush as well. Then I might wear it as a blush. Okay. Um, and these highlighters are crazy. They remind me of the Give Me Glow. These brands are very similar. They remind me of those where I was like, those are probably the most pigmented highlighters, like almost too much highlighter for me. These are in that same category. So we got some, we got five of those. Let me just show them to you. First, in the black packaging, we have Buns in the Sun. Yeah. Show you a little bit. Show you a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. That's icy. That's pretty. Buns in the sun. This one I've worn a few times already. Love it. Clap back. Look at that. Ooh. 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 It's like a pinky. Absolutely beautiful. 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 Summer bronze. This is in the gold packaging now. So it's like an olive tone gold, summer bronze. Okay. I can't read. Peach Halo. This is beautiful too. I've worn this a couple times already too. Oh my god. I do love a dual chromatic highlighter, like a shift in my highlighter. These are two are similar, but you can see the difference. 100%. And then this very unique shade, but I think I have. I think I ordered something weird from Give Me Glow like this. This is um, Vixen. Look at that. Look. That's an interesting highlight. It's almost like a gunmetal olive situation. Look how pretty that is. And you know we're going to rock them all. So we have those. Um, really excited about those. I'm put them away in my new drawer. They've just been sitting out since I got them. Let's put those away. Put those away. Okay, this is my eyeglass case. I can move. I can move, but uh, putting away. Okay, what else we got on this table? Okay, so I have been enjoying. Throwing dirty sponges away. I have really been enjoying. I don't know what this cap goes to. I don't know. Don't know. I have really, really been enjoying this primer. This seventeen dollar primer from L'Oreal. It's the uh, Prime Lab uh, Advanced Derm Primer. They have a few different versions of this pr of the primer. They have like a pore one, a brightening one. I have the matte setter, and it's been doing very well. It's been doing doing quite well um, in terms of keeping me matte. It is it better than the Rimmel Stay Matte? I don't know. They might be the same. So like seventeen dollars versus like four dollars for that. Just keeping it real. But I like this. I do like this. It's a little thinner than the Rimmel Stay Matte. But I've been I've been doing this and I have been quite enjoying it. Also, I did a rant <laughs> on my live regarding. Uh, the e.l.f. and I've talked about this before the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer where I want to love it but the only reason why I don't love it is I haven't found the perfect shade I haven't found the perfect tone um the perfect warm yellowy I, I just haven't found it I think the concealer is good I think it has great coverage I do I like that but like the perfect shade and I've been playing I bought two more shades um they were on sale and in my live you guys are like well mix two colors I'm trying to avoid that like I want to find the right shade I have been mixing two colors and the two colors I've been 
been doing and it's been working but again it's still like I have the whole point of this concealer is like it's really good for really cheap it's five or six dollars but if I have to buy two that defeats the purpose anyway this is um deep chestnut which is which is pretty decent to brighten pretty like normal people brighten but we're not normal and then I've been mixing it a little bit with medium golden which still looks a little pink to me but it works out with these two and so I've been using both of those um, to do my concealer I, I like the way it looks but it, I'm still mixing two colors that's the, my, my gripe is that I needed two I want one color I want to find the right shade but what can we do what can we do all right these Milani I've been using these they've all been out the only one I've only used once is the highlighters so these squeezy tube conceal and perfect face products so we have highlighter I have two highlighters molten molten fusion and solar flare can't tell you too much yet because I've only used them once I, and I forgot which one I used whatever but I have been using both the corrector and the contour I really enjoyed this contour it's easy just dab it on and I blend it out with a brush it works really nicely it looks lovely um this is the shade the four the darkest shade so I really like that and then I've been using the conceal and perfect the color corrector in the shade four nectar this is an acceptable color corrector just under my NARS my NARS I feel like still color corrects everything like it's just a little bit more pigmented it's a little bit more stronger but this does well and when I'm going when I'm going for that natural <laughs> situation um and this combined putting that elf concealer over top yeah it works it works well so I've been liking that too so yeah so we like those um really cute again these are these are like I think they were like nine to ten dollars so like okay all right I do wish they had some other color options in um these are light so like I don't think like if they put out like a concealer in this tube I'd like it because they are like I said this is not the color corrector is not as strong as the the NARS one um the contour is definitely it works it's lovely it's a very it's soft not soft as in like excuse me you can't see it you can definitely get a chiseled sculpted look but these are not like the thick opaque full-on products just so you know um but yeah we liking those I do wish maybe there was a deeper color corrector shade and then um yeah I think that might be they might be it yeah. but anyway we have the uh let's put those away put those away in terms of brows I'm just throwing my brow drawer back together I don't have much new I don't have new things in brows I've been trying to switch up you know what I use on my brows as I as I always do um so yeah there's not much there's not much to say there I'm just gonna put that stuff away I'm here I'm here okay we're getting there still don't know what that lid is for Oof. okay let's talk about wipes let's talk about wipes real quick let's talk about wipes so I if you guys know, I, I, I if you've been with me, rocking with me, the Dollar Tree Bolero makeup remover wipes, love them. You get really nice wipes for a dollar. I'm actually out. I'm actually finally all out of them. I, I still go to the Dollar Tree frequently. I just don't see as much of a range of those. I'll grab them when I can, but I don't see them as much anymore. I still see Bolero products, but for one, one time, Bolero was taking over that aisle in the Dollar Tree. So I don't see them as much. If I see some wipes, I grab them. I have quite a few wipes. They have these more in the Dollar Tree. These are the Bolero Reviving Facial Wipes, and they come in different scents and different things. These don't take off makeup as well, but they are makeup wipes. I mean, they are uh, facial wipes, um, but they're not, like, claiming to be makeup wipes. They're more like refreshing wipes. So I have those, and, like, I'll use them, but, like, they're, they're not the same as the, the makeup removing ones or the cleansing ones. 
Anyway, so the next best thing, these big packs of wipes, these random brands that come from like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, Burlington, y'all know the brands you never heard of, but you get like 60 in a pack. I just opened this one. Uh, that's, you get like 60 in a pack. These are from Precision Beauty, but there's, I know there's various brands. Um, these are usually like $5.00 fine you can get I got some on clearance for three dollars because I think like certain scents certain holiday themes or whatever they go on clearance they work really well and they're big wipes and they're strong and so if you can't find the Dollar Tree ones like here's some this is Petal Fresh these came from a discount store and these are $3.99 so these these big packs and you get them pretty cheap um I just can't get on the, because of how many I use I can't get on the bandwidth bandwagon like the Neutrogena like like even the MAC wipes which are really really good I only get these on when I can get them on discount at the cosmetic company outlet when they're like six dollars a pack which is very rare um I'm on like my last pack of these because I stocked up last time but like they're 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 too expensive um anyway for the way I go through wipes I still use reusable cotton pads I still use reusable things taking off my makeup but again I just because I wipe so much and swatches and I'm taking off so much um I, I still use wipes and it's 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 I know my environmentalist I'm sorry but I still use wipes it's the easiest it's it's that's what it is all right putting away a couple super shock shadows from ColourPop because um, a few of these days I just was focused on the face and wanted a quick swipe of something on the eyes. I did a look recently where I showed you I'm still using these in uh, yeah. I like the ultra glitter ones the best for that purpose. Um, so throw, putting a couple of these away. Hang on, gotta lean over. Okay, we're almost there, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Um, a couple other things I want to talk about quickly. This concealer from CoverGirl, I've had it like, ooh, in and out of my new bin, um, in and out of shot my stash. I don't know. it just been floating around. And this is the full coverage Outlast extreme wear concealer baby this is this is coverage this is coverage I used it um when I was a couple times when I was just spot concealing because I was wearing the Juvia's Place powder foundation which is a decent powder foundation um and baby it just impressed me with the way it covered and so I might get a lighter shade of this so put that in there uh the Juvia's Place powder foundation I've worn both the powder foundation few times now and the uh, liquid radiance um, I don't have a solid opinion on either one neither one I hate both made me look beautiful but I still have to play with both of them um, to really let you know how I really feel so far so good um, but yeah they're not blowing my socks off but they're not terrible either I'm just trying to figure out the average you know um, I will say with the powder it's long wearing. It, it has some longevity to it, which is really nice. Um, and with the liquid, same thing, same thing. So it's kind of, sorry, not really a review yet, but I've been wearing those. Let's put those away. Okay. Oh, I forgot my bobby pins in my hair area. We are almost clean here. Other than the brushes, I will do those later. I'm going to wipe this down. Um, the last thing, so like other than the clarity shadows, <laughs> other than the clarity shadows, I kind of just put that together, baby, these CoverGirl Clean Quads, I've been reaching for them. I've been reaching for them. I haven't gotten any new eyeshadow palettes since these, I don't think. Um, and these Clean Quads, I want the rest of them. They are $14, so they're definitely going to be a point perk. I'm waiting for CoverGirl to have a sale, something at Ulta, because... Yeah, but they are great, especially these two for just a quick neutral look on the eye. Like I told you I kind of been focusing on my face other than that multi-chrome shadow. But like that one is spiced copper and then this one is candlelit burgundy. And they've been giving they've been doing what they need to do for me. And so they're they're still sitting out because they've been doing what they need to do. 
Okay? So. So, yeah. I think I'm done. <laughs> I just wanted to chat. I still don't know what this lid is for. We're just going to set it to the side because I have no idea. Um, let's wipe it down real quick. And I thank you guys for just doing the most random makeup chat with me. Uh, the only thing now I have to do is I'm going to sit uh, after work here. I'm going to sit and uh, do some spot cleaning of my brushes. But we are looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. And I can't complain. And I feel refreshed and ready for a new week of makeup and mess. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. <laughs> Talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.